Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to say it first. I was going to let you say it first. So, um, and little Liz is behind the camera, and Carla is, did y'all hear from Carla this morning? You know, morning? I hadn't talked to her this morning. That's unusual. Hmm. So, anyway, well, she'll she's, be on she's line, behind the sure. scenes. Yeah. So, um, welcome to um, our program today. And we're making some Valentine cookies and uh, a couple little treats. And Mary, it's it's going to be more about us decorating and little techniques that we do. And we were laughing before we started because I was telling Mary, telling her a couple of things, and she said, "Yeah, I saw the pictures." I said, "Well, I did, and I've been doing this for years." <laughs> so for for all of you um, extra smart people on the said the nice way. <laughs> baking and, and decorating than I do, yeah. so I'm, I'm not up, up to your par <laughs> on the baking and decorating. Oh, Lord. Mm. Anyway, it's fun, and um, so um, I guess we'll get started. We, we have some things to talk about, but we'll go ahead and get started, and um, um, first of all, I got my butter in my microwave bowl, and um, you don't want your butter to be hard, you want it to, to be soft enough that it's creamy. So instead of putting this on a paper plate, I just stuck it in the bowl and microwaved it for eight seconds so it would be yeah, soft. I've so done that, I've done that for too. Um, I'm gonna microwave. I'm gonna move this over here okay. and um, um, so you won't have to be reaching over okay. reaching too too much here is what I'm what I'm oh, hoping. That's okay. I mean, I'm, 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 I can actually so, uh, the order that I'm gonna tell me if I'm blocking the camera. The order okay. I'm gonna do this in is butter, sugar, egg, vanilla, okay. and then we'll do the dry. Okay. So you so, will cream the uh, butter first. Yeah, I'm gonna cream the butter first. Let me get my mixer going here. And for everybody that wonders, this mixer is not heavy. It might look heavy and awkward because this is the motor part and then your battery down here. But it's, do you think it's heavy, Mary? Mm -hmm. I don't either. I don't think it's heavy at all. say to spoon it and uh, it's going to make your um, batter your dough a lot crumblier and you and you have to add water to it if have you, you don't spoon it 
Have you sifted this flour? It feels awful light. No, but it's a brand new bag. Yeah, it, it feels real light and soft. I, I, unlike you, I don't sift my flour unless okay. the recipe calls for it. Okay. near as crumbly as it was on the first batch that I made this morning. And um, y'all heard me say that cookie dough should separate from the bowl, uh -huh. a good cookie dough. Now you can tell that this is going to mash together real good. But I want to show you something. If your cookie dough didn't come together like this, um, cold water, just regular water, and I would go a tablespoon at a time okay. and mix it to make sure. And the way you can test is just pick it up with your hands and see that's, if it's going to mash think, together. I think that's going to be okay. Yeah, this is, this is fine here. Okay. This is fine. And that's because we didn't we didn't pack the flour because okay. we spooned it in in a bowl. Okay. But um, okay. this, um, I'll move this. If you've ever had dry cookie dough and you wonder what to do about it, that's the best solution for okay. it. So, um. I was going to tear my um, parchment paper up and I was going to make a lot of noise and I forgot. So. so you need some parchment paper? I got it. So, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so, I'm going to put this in, in the refrigerator. This dough does need to be chilled. And, um, uh, let's see. Uh, I've got these left out. Okay. I'm such a lesson to us. Yeah. We just got a little bit of yesterday. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Mm -hmm. That's trash there. So I'm going to stick this in the refrigerator, get my dough out that was chilled, and um, we're going to do some rolling here. That's going to be with our decorating yeah. theory. Right. Um, but I'm also going to cook. Um, I'm going to roll one or two cookies off of this because I want to show you the difference That's in chilled and unchilled. You can't roll that. But I'm going to show you how to correct it because what's going to happen is these cookies are going to spread. So I got a nifty little trick to okay. show you and we're going to need some flour for okay. Dustin. Okay. So give me just a second here. I've got do, you want, do you want a little flour on your mouth? Yes, I do, Mary. I sure do. I love these mats. I think I just use them a lot. Okay, so here's my chilled dough, and you can tell Mary that uh, you can tell it's stiff. Now yes. I just made that this morning, so it doesn't take it long no. to, get, to get chilled. In the I would say uh, probably a good hour to leave it in there. Okay. Um, if you don't have time to chill it. You know, like I said, we can we can show you the remedy. It's just 
it just is better if you can chill it. Right. So let me get a rolling pin out. Are you using the pepper chip? Rolling yes. pin. Use this. I've got my cookie sheets ready, and I'm using the seal packs. Um, um, so we're gonna. Another thing: don't roll all your cookie dough at one time because you're just re-rolling and re-rolling and. Yeah. The less you can work that dough, it, the better off. It makes it is. tough. Yeah. It so now, if I had left this on in overnight, I would have to microwave this for yeah. a hot second. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be able to roll it. I know. But I think, I think I can do this. Um, I'm gonna also do this. Were you with me before when I did this, Mary? No, but you know what? I used to use wax paper to do that. Well, the Get difference in the right. paper and this yeah. is the paper's going to move. Yeah. Okay. And this won't. Okay. Well, not, no, I had not tried that, but used to. That's that's why I used to do pie crust. I would put uh, right. So it put didn't uh, stick. wax paper on top and roll it, and it didn't stick to my rolling pin. So if you don't have one of these mats, you can use wax paper. But the wax paper, like she said, it moves on that. The wax paper moves on the cookie dough. Yeah, it will. Mm -hmm. You don't want a lot of flour in it, but you do want a little bit. And about how thick are you rolling it out? Um, my recipe said a fourth to in, a fourth to a half an inch. Mm -hmm. um, if you buy a cookie. Like in a bakery, mm -hmm. a decorated cookie, or in a lot of these gas stations have them now, the cookie's gonna be a half an inch thick. Yeah. I don't even they're like them yeah. because yeah. they're too thick. Yeah. They're um, to me, you wanna you want kind of a fine line between a thick cookie and between um one that's well you don't want one that's the thicker they are, the doughier they are. Yeah. Right. So so it would make a difference in getting just the right thickness. Oh, and I'm one more thing too. So babe, what can I do? Um, you can cut um, some of those. I'm going to grab my bench scraper to pick that up with. Now, if your dough is really soft, uh, now turn that over on the other side, Mary, and show them the difference. And turn turn your, your see this is a cutting edge. Is that what you're yeah, about? Turn it over on the other side and, and cut it with that this one. That's gonna make a cut little. with the ridge. With oh, the is that where you want it? No, okay. just one. Just do oh, one. Okay. It's gonna make a little rib. Yeah. Depending on what size you, the side you, you're uh, cutting with. Now this one may yeah. not show, but it's yeah, got a little yeah, bit of ridge it. on yeah. it. Yeah. I don't think I can get another one in here. So we got some more sizes though. Yeah. But. Um, Actually, that might not be such a great idea because we want them all to cook at the same time. But you're going to see, that's about a fourth inch thick, don't you think, Mary? Yes, I think that's a great size. Uh, look, now I can do that with that little crack. Is that going to make a yes. difference? you can do that. Okay. Okay. Now, when you're baking <clears throat> cookies, you do not want to over-bake them. You don't want them so close together that they're going to run into each other because then they're not going to have the pretty shape. Let's turn it this way. And you really want to be careful with re-rolling your scraps. I don't want to roll these no more than I have to. So we're just going to bring it together a little bit. That's true with any kind of dough. It, it just makes it tough. Pie yeah. crust or any kind of dough, unless you less you work with it, the uh, um, better you are, because it make it tough. Now, if you're using, say, a Wilton rolling pin, we have little rubber bands that you can put on it to make sure that your cookie dough is even. And you know something else you can do, which this might be a turn off to some people, but you can, um, there's a way around this too. There's always a solution to everything, right? Yeah. Grace always yeah. said, yeah, yeah, there's an answer yeah. to every there's problem. Always you always find that's right. Find a person that knows right. the answer. So wrap, get two magazines that are exactly the same size, wrap them in plastic wrap, and put them on each side and roll, and your cookie dough will be um, the same consistency, the same thickness. You know, like put a um, put a, a magazine here, right. 
and put a magazine here, oh, I see and then roll it, I see and it's mean. all exactly yeah. the same size. I'm not demonstrating it, but yeah. um, I think I'm gonna do a couple of small okay. ones, Mary. Okay. Um, I don't know. I may have this a little bit thicker. Do you think that's a little bit thicker than that's, others? That, that looks better. Yeah. Okay. And then. I have so many cookies. I love your I love your sugar cookie. So many. And and I'm doing what I said not to do. I'm gonna put some on here. You know what? I don't think I am. I think I'm gonna put them on another shelf. Okay. So let's put these in the oven. Okay. Now I'm gonna set the timer on okay. it's I believe the recipe said eight to ten minutes. Uh -huh. I'm gonna set the timer on nine minutes. All right. And we're gonna whoops. 99. Okay. Do you want to regrow this dough? Yeah, we'll just get one more out of it. Um, I never make single batches of cookies. Never. Ever. Is this a full? Is this, this a double batch? No, it's a single batch. Oh, but okay. I did it because I didn't want to have a whole bunch of extra cookies laid around the house. Because guess what? Who eats them? <laughs> I might will eat one or two yeah. with this coffee and then after right. then they get left for Linda to eat and yeah. I know it y'all might not think so but I don't eat everything uh, in sight um, cookies, just, um, cookies are my weakness my downfall absolutely love 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 sweets and cookies we're going to be able to get another now that or not what do you think yeah I think we can I think we can get another now that We'll just throw that dough away. Okay. Now this one kind of, I've kind of <laughs> bent that one a little bit out of shape. But like I said, I'm going to show y'all some tricks. Uh, okay. I'm going to roll these and then I'm going to get just a little bit of that dough that we just did and we're going to do a pan. Of, oh, the, okay. of the ones that I just put in the refrigerator, okay. I'm going to show y'all okay. the difference. Um, Don't stiff. It is. Now remember, this is the same cookie dough, but I had to add some water to this because I did not spoon my flour in. I um, um, I packed it, or just took it out of the canister, yeah. basically. I should say. This is hard, but like I said, well, using that mat on top, it seems like it would be easier. It is easier. Because yeah. one thing, you're not dealing with it sticking right. up your rolling pin. Right. You can tell this is still. Still kind of stiff. But, okay. See how much see how much easier that does? Oh yeah. By doing that. And you got them anyway, you know. Right. May as well use them. And if you don't, you I can, love this. like I said, you can use wax paper. You can use, but the wax paper does, it crinkles up is what it does. And you can use parchment paper yeah. too. I would, if I had to do it with paper, I would prefer parchment, parchment paper to wax paper. Yeah, I would. Okay, so that's going to be kind of thick on that end. See, that's a lot thinner than yeah. you buy in yeah. a store or in a gas station or somewhere. They're just, um, I just think, and I know why they do it. They do it so the cookie will hold up and it, it doesn't break. break. Yeah. But it doesn't matter to me. I still prefer them. Now, we're going to do, we're going to do a couple of other things here. Okay. Um, now, this is a cookie stamp. And I'm just going to. Lightly press that. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, that's pretty, Linda. And you got a different... Yeah. Remember when we bought some of these at TJ Maxx at Lufkin? Um, when we were, I think we were down there for Ladies Conference one year. Oh, and I have got them. But I don't, I don't remember. Where they're at. I don't remember buying them. So I bought these. Yeah, I, I don't think I did. That come out. I'm going to have to re that. I don't, I don't like that. That's got love on it, but yeah, that, that's just come unglued. Hey, you have to get it back, anyway, aren't you? We can fix that. Yeah. Okay. 
So we'll set these aside. Um, now on those that you made the design, will you put a, a glass and a glaze on it or, um, or not? If it shows up enough, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Okay. We're going to try to paint that. Oh, my. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> It'd be you fighting you. I don't know. So good. Uh, you you can always tell when you got good cookie dough. Yeah. It just it's it, just it really looks good. Do, now, do you need this mat? Oh, in the other pan? Do I need to roll this? I will. This? No, I'm going to use that when I when I roll the cookie dough that hasn't been chilled. Oh, on. okay, that's right. I'm going to use that. Okay, I'm going to use that then. Okay, so we're going to set these aside. Now, they've seen us do the wash on them, so we're not doing that this time. Okay. We, we want to do something different. Okay. And, um, let me get Have another. you got another one? I've got another one in yonder, but I'm just going to use this one. Okay. This you know, those have got five glass in them. My imperial those sugar. I do. Mm -hmm. I read it. Mm -hmm. it says five glass in, the, in that um, mat, that cookie mat. Hmm. I didn't know that. Because I, <laughs> I was comparing them to these. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I don't. Um, it works fine in the oven. So. Okay. Now yeah, we're gonna get these scraps rolled up real good here. I and ordered me some more of these. Uh, I did too, and yeah, I've got I some more in there. I gave one away yesterday. It hasn't been mailed yet, yeah. but. Um, I did. I got me some more of them too, um, because you think two's enough, but it's really but it's not. not enough. Yeah. Because well, when to. you're really making a lot of cookies, you need more than uh, two. And two is all I have of the pepper shell, and I got two of the imperial sugar ones. And y'all may think that we're being um, greedy or not being practical when we say that, but um, because when you take these out of the oven. You're not going to take them off right away. They need to cool because you can't put hot cookie dough. That's another tip. You can't put hot cookie dough, I mean cookie dough on a hot, hot baking sheet. Right. Because if you do, that's another reason it's going to spread. Right. So you need a lot of them. So you need more than one. A lot of liners. Uh, just like you need more, more than one cookie sheet. Yeah. Right into one of the mothers, I don't know. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Liz, is this something I can do to help you out? Uh, no, we're going to be both be working once we get these uh, out of the oven and they get cool enough to where we can decorate them. Okay. Okay, so see if we can get one more big one out of this and we won't fret about. I normally am very particular about wasting, but. I don't want I don't want these to be tough, so whoops. I didn't roll that quite good enough, did I? Well you gonna put that one on that sheet there? Well I don't think I'm gonna put another one on okay. that. Yeah. I was wondering because it's kinda of crowded. And I don't want to Am I talking loud? So I, I, is she talking loud enough, Liz? Some, some, I think so. Okay. Sometimes Mike will tell me you're in your old voice again. <laughs> you need to talk louder. Well, I just don't know what to do to help you. I wish I did, but okay. it's almost like a one-man job. Okay. Um, we're going to get some of the, um, you can get a little bit of flour. I'm going to go get the cookie on the, on the just, pastry mat. Yeah, a just flour. put a little bit more on there. Yeah, um, yesterday, uh, Linda and I on our way to the doctor's office, uh, she, uh, the weather, it just looked like, looked like snow. Yeah. Did, to you, I mean, it just, it, yeah, so it, it, was, it rained on me on the way home. Did it? Yeah. It just it looked did. so hazy, you know that? And I, but I don't really think it's going to get as bad here, Linda. I really don't. Well, I know it ain't going to get as bad as it did last year, but, um, I hope that it kind of sticks a little bit. I hope it doesn't it and I feel bad for everyone that's going to be in the way. Right. See how much softer this yeah. is? 
So we're going to um, we're Fort Worth. Uh, far down is Jacksonville, which is not that far from here. It is supposed to be uh, bad. And I sometimes see. it's um, so it could possibly yes. um, it's worse. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands here, Linda. Sometimes it's worse south of us than it is where we're at. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's gonna kind of go north, um, east. I think it's what it's gonna do after it comes down from Dallas, Fort Worth. Yeah. It's gonna kind of head northeast, and that's gonna that's gonna bypass us with the majority of it. We still have some bad weather, but um, you know it changes from day to day. You know, you just never Ooh, know. These spread. Now I'm very surprised these spread because these were. Yeah. I'm just gonna cook them another minute or two. We'll look at show it on these because they yeah. definitely spray and I'm yeah. very surprised they did that. Yeah. But that's okay. We're gonna cool them and because uh, they need to cool just a pinch before we cut them and then I'll okay. bring them in here and we okay. can show y'all what we're gonna do. Okay, did you want this rolled out? Uh, if I don't want you to hurt yourself, but if you I'll want to, you can. Well, I mean, I'll, I may not do as good as you, but I'm, yeah, you'll do fine. I won't mash it. I it is hard. I drove yesterday. Or, uh, so I'm, I'm on the beach. You drove yesterday? I drove home, yeah. Oh, no. Well, Linda's, out. Linda's had my car for two weeks. I hadn't even went anywhere. Didn't even want to go anywhere. Linda was smart. Get paid and get that car away from her. I took my car home, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be tempted to get in the car. But, but it's, um, uh, I drove home, and I was fine. Now, I might have I got, I got that a little bit too thin, Linda. That's okay. Um, I'm not. I've never been a, a cake decorator or, or cookie decorator. Uh, I've decorated before, but I've never been really particular about them looking perfect. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all these, and they did spread. You see they're just barely brown around the edges, and and they spread. They don't even look like a heart, but we're going to fix that. So I'm going to set them in here to cool. For, uh, so do you let them cool before you fix it? Or let them just, just a minute top. or two. Just a minute. Okay. Yeah. And Linda, uh, you can check this. I, I did. I didn't. Um, I wasn't paying attention, and I did kind of get it thin, so it might be too thin. Okay. All right. I'm gonna put both of those in there at the same time and set it for nine minutes. <laughs> So we've got, um, no, let me forget about cookies and the children from here. Okay. We've got, um, I think this end is okay. Okay. Here. Yeah. This I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the smaller ones to see that big one. Okay. Sir, do you have a cookie sheet? Uh, um, I could get out them. some more, but um, um, just I'll wait done. until we get okay. those off. Okay. Before I, that one's a little thin. Okay. We know these little ones here are from the from that last batch. So yeah, and I and I did roll that in there to kind of thin. That's okay. Mike likes his cookies crispy. I like them crispy too, Linda. I do. I like mine crispy. Daddy liked his soft. I like mine crunchy. That's you know that's um that's kind of the way I am about my eating. That uh when I'm eating, I have to have a crunch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or I or I don't feel like I'm eating. If everything is soft, I like texture. Yeah, yeah me too. I do too. If everything is soft, it just um it just I don't feel like I'm eating. So. Okay, so I'm going to bring the cookies in here. I washed my cookie cutter because this had raw dough on it. Come in and move the mat so you can put the... I'm going to put this here on the mat. Okay. okay. Now, let's see here. You got your cookie cutter? Yeah. Okay. Let me move this. Okay, 
So what I'm going to do, and this is going to be some scraps, but don't worry, they'll, they'll be eaten. So I'm going to set the cookie cutter on here, and I'm just going to press it. And I'm going to leave it on this sheet until it... Because it will harden. Yeah. When it gets cool, it'll harden. It'll, it'll firm up. Yes. Hey, that's a, that's a neat trick. And like I said, don't worry about the scraps. They're not going to be wasted. So when it comes out, it's going to have a, a crisp, yeah. clean line. And it's not going to... That's, that's a good idea. Look um, like it's not a heart. Yeah. So we'll put it back in here to cool. That's kind of why you do your shortbread, isn't it? You cut it, you cut it after it comes out of the oven? Yes, you yeah. cut it you cut it as soon as it comes out of the oven. Um, okay, I guess we can't really get... I'm going to give you a um, little spatula here, Mary, and let you kind of okay. start smoothing this. Okay. That might be a little more, I don't know. Okay. That's and this is white chocolate. Yeah, right. it's just just white chocolate. And just how much did you? How long did you? Uh, you I do it thirty seconds at a time. Seconds. And how many thirty and, seconds um, did you do? I did it for a minute and a half. Minute and a half. Okay. Yes. I did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna give you the lid to put back on there. Hopefully that may get okay. cold. We may have okay. to reheat it again. But we we'll get your paper plate on there. damaged nail and it's been that way for years and every time I pick up something it goes under that split. Oh. Um, okay so now I'm gonna I'm gonna do some more. Okay. Um, so um, Mary do you wanna uh, maybe we could tell them about the cookbooks again and okay. our website while I'm microwaving this stuff over here. Okay. First of all we're gonna announce the Birthday drawing. Oh, for yes. the apron. Yes. Thank and um, her Hold name on. was I'll get it. Cassie. The name that we drew for the January birthday apron giveaway was Cassie. What's her last name? Uh, Norris. Norris. January 30th was okay. her birthday. Thank you. Uh, Cassie Norris, you won the birthday apron for January. So we've got your phone number, but we want you to send us your address. Text it. To uh, our business phone, 903-235-4804. So text us your address and uh, we'll get you a, one of our pinky ball pink aprons in the mail to you. So congratulations, Cassie. Uh, now our cookbooks, they have been shipped. So you can. Uh, we're going to open our inventory of our cookbooks today, be tonight. So if any of y'all are interested in and been waiting on us to have cookbooks, they won't be on inventory First, until what, what time, Linda? This evening by 7. By 7 o'clock tonight, our inventory will be open again for uh, cookbooks. So um, it'll take, it takes a while to get it, the process, and, and little Linda uh, has got to make sure she's home to be able to do that. So our cookbook are open, you go to our website if you're interested in a cook, in a cookbook, and our website is uh, www.pinkymallskitchen.com. So that's where our store is, and we have a um, uh, members where our recipes are. This recipe that Linda done uh, today and the one that uh, I did yesterday, and for, since we started in October, are on our membership page. Our membership is $5.99 a month plus your taxes. And um, you go to our website, which is pinkyballskitchen.com, and scroll down and you'll see membership. You'll see the word membership. And you just click on membership and it will take you to the page for you to join. And it will ask you for your name and uh, telephone number and email address. And then um, your uh, $5.99. So we, you get, for the membership, you get um, 12 to 14 recipes a month, and plus we have a few other uh, exclusive content, and we're going to try to do a little better and do a little more exclusive content soon, content soon. and also I think There's two a of those recipes are from the past, right? 
at least that's what we have for this month. And I think we skipped one month. I think we did too. I think we skipped one month because I, we December was so crazy. But we actually put two recipes every month, uh, starting I guess you say today, this month, that we have done in the past that we have done the video on, and we actually gave you the measurements and all then, but we never, but you've asked for them. It's it's recipes that you have been asking for that we is not on our website now. But I think Linda, what did you put in there for this month? What did you put in there for? I oh, haven't put an old oh, okay. one in there yet, but I'm going to put the Texas peanut patties and okay. the peanut brittle for January. Linda's going to have the peanut patties. And the peanut brittle recipe on our members page, membership page. And I've already gotten, I don't know if Linda's posted yet or not. I haven't posted it, but I do the have it. The pizza dough recipe. We'll have the pizza dough recipe. And there was another one. What did I say I was going to put on there? I've only received one. Uh, maybe the peanut butter pie. That's an old one. The peanut butter pie. Okay, yeah, that's one the, that's hard to find. Yeah, the peanut butter pie. We'll put that on there. Also, um, now there's a link to the video with the recipe. Oh, that's right. When Linda posts our recipes, she also has, a, a, in that right, a link. I have to wait till after y'all do the video. Right, so, after yeah. the video is done. I, we finish this video, and you go to the members page, the recipe to the cookies. Linda will post the video, uh, today's video, along with the recipe. So that would be um, something... So when you so when you're baking this, you have, you'll have a recipe in front of you, and you can also have, watch the video of how we've done it. So that that ought to be helpful to y'all. Um, and um, what else was it we was going to tell them? Um, well, my mind it slipped my mind. It, I thought of it for a second, <coughs> and then I forgot. But anyway, um, they're printable. That's what I was going to tell y'all. Our recipes are printed um, on our members page. You can print them, and, uh, and yeah, I guess that way you can uh, start well, to do a little collection my cookie, so, in, a, uh, um, in a binder. That's what I, I do. You can um, uh, just buy you one little cheap notebook binder, punch you some holes in there, print your recipes, and you can create your own cookbook from our kitchen. So um, I don't know how many recipes we got on there right now, but it's quite a few. Uh, we do, like I said, 12 to 14 a month. We've been doing this since October. So there's a lot of recipes on there for your for the members page. So, um, uh, okay. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put some of um, these cookies on here. Okay. Right? And um, we're going to probably go put this paper on there too. Yeah, put that in the middle. We're probably going to just put the rest of this up. Okay. And, um, is that gonna yeah. be too close? They're gonna they're gonna crowd, but they're crowding anyway. Okay. So we'll just do that. And just just right, put that back in that okay. package there if you don't okay. mind, Mary. Because we need to get over there and get started yeah. doing that pretty okay. quick. Yeah. Now you all put it back in the refrigerator, huh? Yeah, I'll take that. I'll have to do most of this I'll give it to Linda. So we're going to start. Yeah. Gonna, um, you just put, the, um, just put that in the, in the dry sink there, Linda, if you will. That's heavy. I'm going to pick that up. Okay. And uh, you can get that for me, Linda, if you don't mind. Here, Linda. Okay. Rolling can is heavy, too. Should we pick it up? Well, I didn't. Okay. okay. It's stirred I'm assuming. Yes, please. Okay. And this is milk chocolate chips. Is that what this is? That is semi sweet chocolate. Semi sweet chocolate. Yeah. But it was chips, right? Yes, it was chips. There's nothing else in it. It's just uh, that. Right, Linda, get the strawberries. We had an extra bag of the Ghirardelli chocolate. Oh, no. And I may or may well, not have sat down and ate the whole bag. <laughs> oh, no, Linda, little Linda. <laughs> Love, love that's chocolate chip. It Linda, was so good. <laughs> Linda's downfall is chocolate. And I think you're the only one of my kids. That, well, no, Chuck likes it too. I'm not a chocolate lover. But little Linda, that is her weakness. I try my best, or at least I'm learning, to not take anything chocolate to her house. Because she's trying her best not to eat it. 
And I, I, it's hard for me to take it to the boys because Linda says, if those boys hide it, I'll find it. Because <laughs> she likes chocolate. Okay, I got one more for you, Mary, and then I got one more in there. Okay. That, um, do you want, you got another spatula? Or uh, I did. So, no, I, I, I know what it is. No, I, I, because you may have to stir okay. it again. So, just okay. keep the same spatula and in the, there. And this one here, is this a strawberry or is this just a pink? It's or just what? a, it's, it's just a pink. bright pink. Yeah. Okay. Just a bright pink. And this right here is the, the little melt. melts. Mm -hmm. Melts. Yeah. Yes. Melts. So, that's the difference in... So when you're doing cookies, you know, they're a little messy. Your kitchen's going to get a little bit messed up, but they're fun. And um, oh, the kids love to do stuff like this. Now, if you have the, the cookies, what you really should have is the cookies cooked ahead of time before and you cooked. start decorating them. And cooled, yeah. And cooled, because these that I've done this morning, they're not actually set yet. So it's going to be a little bit different. And these are very thin. They're a lot thinner than I thought they were going to be. So we could have rolled them back. If you'll notice this, this is the edge. This has started to set. Now that's not that long right there. These cookies <laughs> haven't set yet because they're still a little bit soft. soft. Yeah. But we're still going to, um, but I wanted to show you the difference in these. You gonna taste it? I'm gonna taste one or two. Mm -hmm. They read their crunchy. Mm -hmm. They're crunchy. I love them. I like the crunch. Okay. Well, it's a really good taste, Linda. Thank you. I used to uh, taste an almond when I used your cookies, though, and it doesn't have almond. No, in it. it doesn't. This this is actually a different recipe. Yeah, it is than what I normally use. Yeah, but it's good. But um. Uh, you can have all the new ones. No, I better not. I'm just trying to get stuff out of the way. This is you know what caramel. we could do? Uh, yeah, I think oh, that's Oh, you got caramel? Oh, yeah. Should mm -hmm. I get into it? I guess I'm going to need I wasn't another. sure. Um, You're going to need a spatula or something to start with. I can just start with the spoon. Right? No, no, here's the spatula. Okay. So let me get these out. And this is those little caramel, uh, little beads. Caramel I call bits. Yeah, the bits. Little little, yeah. What did I cook the other day? I cooked something the other day that I used these. What did I cook? And I used caramel. I melted some caramel. I forgot what it was I cooked the other day that I used this caramel on. Okay, this is the last pan. I'm going to go ahead and cut these. Now, I've washed all these cookie cutters, so it's not dough, raw dough on baked dough. I don't do that. So, it, that might, that thing is cooked too long. It's going to need some liquid in it. Yeah. We may not use that right off. Okay. We can do that later okay. just because of time. Yeah. So, um, so tell me what you want me to do. We're going to um, use some bags and just, okay. well, I'll just move this out of the way. Okay. And I'll put a little bit, I'm going to use a couple in mine, but we'll put a little bit of that. <laughs> that caramel was my fault. Sorry. Oh, that, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't because. I think I normally put some uh, some heavy cream in that, and I didn't put anything in it, so that was not good. So, are you putting it? Um, you want chocolate, or are you just whichever one that you yeah, want? Yeah, just put whichever it one it doesn't matter. Okay. And I'm going to go in there and do the ones in there. So, let me see that I got this here. Actually, I'll bring this one there, Linda, and do it in there. And those 
little cookie scraps are good. I used to save my oh, short bread scraps and eat them. They're very good. I love those cookies. They're good scraps. to snack on. Yep. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do the uh, marshmallows first. Okay. And um, some of them, I'm just going to. Do you want all this chocolate no, in there with No, no, because we're going to dip. We're going okay. to dip these okay. down in some of them, too. Okay. I just fold it over the top of this. And you're going to need something under that because when you cut it, it's going yeah, to go everywhere. <laughs> or at least it does with me. <laughs> hey, Linda, I was going to hand this over to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fill it up let you do this. I have experience with that. Yes, you do. And I don't. I have experience with it running everywhere. Yeah. Well, that's my experience. Um, okay, so these you can just um, dip them in it. Okay. I'm trying to get both sides of the about on the chocolate. Let's do these in pink. Oh, okay. And um, you just want to dip them down in there? Yeah. And okay. this is just marshmallows cut in high, the big ones. And then you just, and you put powder sugar on them? Is that I did where I cut the, the cut Where you edge. cut it? Right. Yeah. And you just dip it down into the pink. Just, is that what you yeah, said? Just, just halfway or um, all the way? I would go almost to the stick. Oh, okay. Now, I'm probably not going to be as good at this as Linda with this, doing this. Uh, ouch. Somehow or another, the other day, I turned my knee the wrong way and it's almost like it's... it's um, you brought a bunch of these marsh color, chocolate covered marshmallows to... Uh, to um, Christmas one year. Yes, you know, I've been thinking about Kaylin so much. She exactly. loved, yeah. she loved She these. loved these. We had to take them away from her, dude. She was eating so many of them. She just she loved She was, what, about three or four she, of them? She was just a little kid, but she loved these marshmallow chocolate covered uh, just, marshmallows. Just, this is just something different. Yeah, and I was going to bring some styrofoam in here to stick these on, but. Do you know where it is? Um. <laughs> I do and I don't. Okay. Um, okay let's so, see. Um, so these are going to have to stand in something. Go to the office and ask Mike. Does he see a piece of that? It's like a piece of square styrofoam. And Mary, you can get any of those uh, crinkle, those uh, sprinkles or anything over there, and put on those. Um, I'll get them. I'll get where, them over here. Or where's the sprinkles? At? I think they're on the table. Oh, okay. I didn't get this organized very good. I was going to put it all out in that little. That little painter thing, and I didn't do it. I'm sorry, Mary. You shouldn't be picking that okay. stuff up. What's that world am I thinking? It's okay. I'm fine. Um, you can use any of these. Of course, this one's not open. Uh, well, let's see. This pink. This one's. <laughs> this one's not open either. <laughs> Will this work? Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. We are not liking on um, uh, styrofoam. No, <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> I need to pick <laughs> Okay. All right, so I'll just open these and you can just do whatever, however, however you want. <coughs> There's not, not a rhyme or reason. I'll just leave that pink because it's been sitting while it's probably getting okay. kind of dry. <coughs> so we got. We got the multicolored. We got white. We got um, are y'all like me? Do y'all keep a pair of scissors until they won't cut nothing? <laughs> I I got so much throwing taste. stuff away. Thank you. So I went uh, yesterday. I bought two pairs of scissors in the last six months. I bought a pair for uh, Miranda's baby shower. Yeah. And then I bought this pair yesterday because every time I pick up a pair of scissors, it's the bad pair. Yeah. So I instructed Mike that that was going in the garbage, that I had bought some decent scissors. You know, you would think that these marshmallows would be heavy and wouldn't stay on there. But did you put something on the stick to make them nope. stay or just I the marshmallow not. itself made it stick? Okay. Because okay. I'm... Any of these sprinkles you can use. Okay. I'm just going to shake off a little bit of this stuff. Uh, okay. So it won't be so thick. And too, so it'll thank you later. Later. Okay. All right. And uh, I guess I'll 
sprinkle it over. So the idea is you can decorate anything. It doesn't have to be cookies. You can decorate pretzels. You can decorate little marshmallow sticks like this. You could actually put these, take them off, and put them in hot chocolate with the mm -hmm. decorations yeah. on them. Yeah. Well, I think Linda, uh, I think that um, this is these are heavy, you know. So that's making some of the. Okay. So okay. I'll do a little a little one that's a little bit lighter, okay. uh, that won't be so heavy, that pulls the chocolate off. Okay. So that's good. Those are cute. Now those marshmallows are the they are the, those are the they're regular, not the size. Yeah, yeah. size. Those not are jumbo. the big ones, and I cut yeah. them. Yeah, I cut them in two. Well, I like it. Um, um, I think I'm gonna uh, maybe see if a cookie is ready, and I can okay. do something with a okay. cookie. Right. And uh, I don't know if they're quite. Um, I'm going to try to get as much of this all set up and off as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have any questions? Um, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, they want to know if there's any recipes in Mama's book. There are no recipes in Mama's book. And I did think about it. I'm sure Mary did too. No, I didn't think about it. But it wasn't about recipes for right. her book. Right. It was about her story. And that's what we wanted to shine was her story. Right. Was, was our recipe book, some of those recipes, all Mama's? Is in our yeah, they are. Yes, they are. Yeah. Um, and then Karen wanted um, y'all to talk about um, every year at Christmas how much um, a variety of cookies Granny always had. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Go ahead, Mary. And every kind of cookie that you can think of, she had it. It was, um, you know, Mother, she baked probably for a week or two before she our start, Christmas. The, the tradition was to start right after Thanksgiving. Yeah. And she started baking and doing like we do, the cookies that would stay fresh the longest she baked first. Yeah. She did first. Uh, what are some of the things that she made, Mary? I know that M&M cookies was one thing that Michael yes. always asked yes. for, Edward's son, yes. Edward Debbie's son. And she always made M&M cookies. She made brownies. She made uh, brownies. She made hunky dory. Yes. Yes. She made... Um, but she made, I, I'm telling you, any kind of cookie that you can think of, she had it, <laughs> every kind. Chocolate chip, um, I just put uh, silver sugar on that. Um, oatmeal, she made oatmeal, oatmeal yeah. raisin cookies. That was my favorite, oatmeal raisin. She had oatmeal raisin. Um... That's for the cookies, Linda. Would you mind to check them for me, please? Yeah. Thank you. Now, now you're doing a cookie. They yeah. need a little okay. bit more time. What do you think? Um, okay, put it on like 1.30, please. Now, did, is that enough of the, the pink, or do you want me to ch change colors? Uh, or you want me to do a chocolate, or just uh, just whatever you want to do, Mary? Chocolate. I'm not chocolate. I'm not particular about any any way that we're doing them. I'm just, you know, just doing different, different things. Uh, the chocolate, we put a lot of that chocolate in um, um, the bag for the, um, for the little, um, yeah, and we can, we can uh, squirt some out on the cookies. Chocolate's getting thick, you know. A so. lot of y'all may be accustomed to royal icing and, and decorate cookies with them. Um, I do make roll icing, and I, I actually had thought about making some this morning. I don't, I don't mind roll icing, but it's not my favorite. Yeah. And so what I usually do is I usually do mine with the chocolate, with the white chocolate, and it's going to set just like the roll icing does. And to me, it just tastes better. Mm -hmm. You know, it tastes yeah. better. And it's not quite as much trouble as Royal Eisen is. I know in Mother's Christmas, um, it, uh, she would have so much food. It'd be just like it is at my house when everybody would come. We would take boxes and boxes of 
cookies and stuff home and stuff yeah. home with us. Yeah, yeah. Everybody always did. Yeah. There was always lots of stuff. I always think, especially now, you know, that we've done it um, for the last so many decades. But uh, I always think about how lonesome Mama was after everybody oh, left I, oh, Christmas. Yes. I think about that, Linda, because I go through that same thing when everybody leaves. It's almost like a letdown because you have been preparing for so long for such a big event. You work so hard. And uh, and then all of a sudden, hey, Linda, they're question? Gone. Yeah, those are good. You can just uh, put pit stop on the oven and um, and just leave them set there, and I'll come over there and cut them in a minute. This chocolate here has gotten a little bit uh, okay. hard, so this is only what, yeah, I'm sorry what I'm going to do on this. I just get some of it off of there. And the, and the good thing about this, these cookies, it's not even about how they look, how perfect. No. It's about getting the kids in there and right. enjoying it and right. having fun with it. Right. There's lots of different ways you can decorate cookies. And I'm just putting them on red sugar. Sprinkles on it. <clears throat> they want to know what hunky dory is. Uh, Oh, I love Hunky Dory. My mother could make the best. It's she popcorn. Is. Yeah, it's like caramel popcorn. She makes a um, uh, like a um, caramel. She pops the popcorn. Now I hadn't made it in years, Linda. We used to have it at Mama's every year. Um, and you do your popcorn, and you put uh, nuts. All kind of nuts. I think she put every kind of nut, pecans, peanuts, didn't she, Linda? Yeah. Isn't that how yeah. she done it? And then she poured a caramel sauce over it, baked it for a little bit, and then it just, and then you break it apart. Is that, did she, did she bake it or she just let the caramel get no, hard on it? She baked it. She baked it. That's what and, I thought. And I'll tell you, um, there's something similar to your living in Charles and Linnell's front yard. They're in her, in her little mobile home, and she was in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. And um, were you with me that time when she, you had to be because it was Christmas. Well, um, I'm, or I'm you not might not have been with home. me, but she was at, you, you were there. Right. So um, I walked in and the way her home was set up, you went in the back door mm -hmm. because that was in Charleston and Linnell's front yard. Yeah. And I walked in and I said, Mama was in there in the kitchen and pulling the oven door open in her wheelchair. And I said, Mama, what are you doing? She said, just never mind. <laughs> I said, what? And I looked and I oh, said, yeah. you're making hunky dory. I thought you already had your hunky dory made because, yeah. you know, we talked all. Mm -hmm. She said, I ate it. <laughs> it is, it is good. It is really good. It is really and good. And she made big bowls of yeah. it. So, mm -hmm. anyway, this is something you can make ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And Mama was making more because she knew, she'd already told everybody she made it. Mm -hmm. But she ate it, so she made it. It's delicious. It's, a, it's so, delicious. Um, anyway. Um, that's something that is kind of like just eating popcorn. Only this is a lot better. Is when you start eating popcorn, you don't know where to stop. It just gets better and better and better. I know. You can open a sack and before you know it, the sack's right. gone. And Mama had a, made a lot of it, so no telling how many times she made the recipe because um, it's got so many different kind of nuts, almonds, walnuts, pecans, it peanuts. It almost looks like a tree or a snowman. Yeah, it does, don't it? You make a snowman out of that. We have another question? Yes. <laughs> and they want to know where you got your salt bowl. I got it at Walmart. For the last month, every time I'd get on here and take salt out of my salt shaker, I said, I'm going to buy a salt bowl. Right. I feel so bad because I honestly thought you had one, and that's I why I didn't get I you one. I don't have one. Um, but um, it was like, I don't know, 4 or $5 or something. They're not expensive. Um, was it Grandma Hooper? Now, Aunt Laverne, when she watches this, she's going to know. I know. Did she keep hers in a bowl? Just a regular bowl? Or what? did it have a cover on it? I don't remember, Linda. And you know, salt, if it gets, if it gets moist, it's going to lump up. Yeah. So it needs and to I'm, be dry. I may be thinking about Ma Lee. I may not be I thinking know. about Grandma Hooper. We'll have to find out from uh, Aunt Laverne. She, um, <laughs> it was funny when she told me the other She said, I talk to y'all all the time when I'm watching your videos and and uh, 
uh, I want to tell you whenever you're talking about something, if it's something she knows about. That uh, so um, we'll have to ask her what you we'll just to. we'll just do one more each. Okay. We've been well, on you a, just you we've just, been on an hour, so just put some of this on here. however you want. Yeah, however you want to do it. Yeah, it's fine. They also want to know what does the cream or tartar do? I knew somebody was going to ask. That. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, Mary. Do you know the answer? To um, that? I'm trying to think. It, it does the same thing it does in frosting. I guess it uh, dents it. It um, makes it um, what do you call dense? Uh, holds it together better. Uh, okay. Stability. That's okay. the word. Stability. That's okay. the word. That's the word I was trying to think of. Um, okay. Stability, it stable, stabilizes it. Correct. And I'll tell you something about cream of tartar. Uh, during when the pandemic first started, they were people were cleaning out shelves, you know, like it is right now with the snowstorm or yeah. ice or whatever it is that might happen in the next few days. Um, you couldn't find cream of tartar anywhere, and you couldn't find yeast. You know, flour that's this was Christmas? Really hard. That's, that that's was here when the pandemic first Oh, okay, okay, okay. And the cream of tartar, it, in the name brand, which um, I wouldn't even say what the name brand is, but um, $2.68, I think, for the oh, really? for the little container. We've yeah. already put it up, but a little, little tiny small container. And at um, Save More, was it like 59 cents? You got it cheap. 59 you got it cheap. Cents. You got a bunch, of, a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah I did. So um, it pays to shop around, and we're we're very thrifty shoppers. Y'all may not think we are because we use Pamper Chef, and, it, and it's not cheap. But um, a lot of what we use, um, we earn mm -hmm. um, with it. But um, and some of it we buy, some mm -hmm. of it we do buy. Mm -hmm. But um, it's uh, when when it's something that's not going to affect the quality. Uh -huh. Like I want, a, I want a certain brand flour. You know, I want my imperial sugar, mm -hmm. and I use off-brand butter. I use Walmart butter or Kroger butter. Um, but um, I wonder if that was Mike. He's coughing. Okay. Mike's coughing. So do my needles see by him? Um, but uh, some things like this cream of tartar or, or salt or some things, it's not going to matter what mm -hmm. what brand it is. And um, so we have. Just we made a mess in the kitchen. Mike will know that when he gets in here a little bit. Well, we're gonna clean it up before he comes in. But here. <laughs> um, we got lots of cookies that we'll decorate, and uh, we don't have these displayed pretty like Mary would if we was no. at her house. It looks fine, but we've uh, done so many different kinds. The things. main thing is you can cover pretzels, uh, pretzel rods. Uh, you mm -hmm. can cover marshmallows any size. Um, you can cover uh, cookies. I like pretzel rods for Christmas. Yeah, and they're very good. You can cover potato yeah. chips. If you've got a good sturdy potato chip, they're delicious yeah, with the dipped chocolate. and chocolate. Yeah, sweet and chocolate is good. So, uh, sweet and salty sweet is and really salty. good. And and there's uh, a company that actually used to sell them. I don't know if they still do chocolate or not. Chocolate covered uh, potato chips? Yes. Um, I didn't know that. I, I know it's good together because I like Years salt, ago, when we first moved to Longview, you could get them. Is that right? Mike loved them. But uh, Mike loves chocolate too. But um, anyway, uh, we hope that y'all have enjoyed it. Do we, was there anything else? Um, there was just one more question, and it was, uh, where'd you get the mats that you put the cookies on? Uh, those are pampered chips. Yeah. They're reversible silicone mats, and and that's one of the items that we talk about. That um, not exactly. Well, I, we can't talk a whole lot about the product on here. They're not exactly cheap, but they are they're very cheap. They they're are very cheap. well worth yeah. the money. Yeah. Very well worth it. So we hope that y'all had a great time today. Uh, oh, our, our, we didn't show our gifts that we got, Mary. Oh, well, okay. I mean, you sit there. I'll grab them. Um, and um, we announced the birthday winner, so we got right. that done. Right. And um, we'll get this cleaned up here, and I can get all blended. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'll, so we left them in the envelope so we didn't lose the person's name. I know. Yeah. Bad. So embarrassing when you I do that. I felt bad because, and I found the envelope like we got off the area. So my husband is real big on clean up and real big on throwing stuff away. <laughs> but it's not nail nailed. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes it's not that, um, you know, and he is such a blessing. I'm not knocking my husband. But um, sometimes I want to keep something and the next thing I know it's in the garbage. 
So, um, well, Linda's, Linda's, my little Linda, is training me <laughs> to throw things away when I'm not using them. So, I thought I'd throw them that way, that way yesterday. But, but you found it. Found it. Yeah, yeah. That was good. I'm glad you did. So, um, let's see, who sent us those, man? These are from, um, what are they going to have for this kind of, look, Let's look and see if there's something inside. Sometimes they'll be a sleeve. These are jumbo bacon that pops. has the name on it. For our jumbo pans? Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is from Charlotte. Charlotte Gray. Oh, okay. And, and um, if you remember, Mary, uh, when we get something from a company, yes. they'll have a little gift thing in yeah. it that and has the I name don't know in how, it. I don't know how to operate that. It says uh, that uh, you scan this and send a thank you note. Do you know how to do that? No, I don't, but I don't we need either. to learn. We need to learn because I've gotten server gifts that has that little scan on it, and I don't know how to send back a thank you. But Charlotte is one, nice. one of our yes, sweet friends, yes, and thank yes. you very much, Charlotte. So we will definitely use right. these. You sent both of us uh, two packages, so I like these. Thank, thank you. Um, and this is the same thing. This is from a fulfillment company, and this is um, dough hooks. Thank you very much for the, the dough, dough hooks. And um, those are nice. This is from Charlotte too. They're both from oh, Charlotte. Really? Okay. So thank you, Charlotte. Yeah. That was a that thank was a cute a double uh, double gift. So thank you very much. We have a little story on the back of it about how uh, who who uh, made these. So nice. uh, thank you so much for those. We'll definitely be using them. And um, uh, tomorrow. Now y'all know East Texas weather. We never know what it's gonna do. When I came home yesterday on the interstate, uh, there was a big LED sign flashing that said roads are being treated for ice. I noticed there was like white streaks on them. I didn't know what it was. It almost looked like a light colored paint. Yeah. And then the truck was coming back. I was driving east and the truck was coming back west toward Longview and I saw it. Okay. It was an 18 wheeler tanker that was spreading this stuff on the roads. Okay. I got on 59 and it was they had already um, been treated. So they're getting that ready lets me ready. know right. that they took this precaution thinking that something's right. going to happen. Right. right. Well, I told y'all the other day about East Texas. Well, I'm not. You I'm, can't go the back roads when it's that kind of weather. You can't go the back roads. And we have many, 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 many pine trees. East Texas is known as the Piney Woods. Mm -hmm. And pine trees don't hold ice. No, they don't. The limbs don't bend yeah. and go to the ground like a beautiful willow tree does. They break, break. and they break on the highline roads. They break, I mean, the highline lines. wires. They break on the roads, the highways. And we probably got, I, we probably got 100, over 100 trees in our yard just on this yeah. lot. And you would never think yeah. that. Yeah. But, but when those trees and those limbs start breaking, it's a mess. So, um, and we know that there's people that are a lot more in harm's way than we are. But the reason I'm saying this is uh, our plan is tomorrow is um, I would, I would Mary to cook. I and do. I'm saying this very hesitantly <laughs> because I've already told her that I will do it here. So it's a depending simple. on how you're feeling tonight, if you're not up to it, then you let me know and I'll, I'll let you know. So but I'm just making other. a simple Hawaiian pie. Is what I'm making tomorrow. So one of the other. So it'll be we'll simple. Be I, and I'm not going to be standing over stove. It's just mixing it up and putting it in a pie crust. So it's not going to be a long video. But I can do that Hawaiian pie. Are so, you also going to do a arrangement? Around? Oh yes, I'm going to do. Um, now, do you think you should? Do I that can sit down by yourself tomorrow. I will have. I'll sit down at the table and show them how to do a flower arrangement. So, okay. okay. Very simple. Very very simple. But I will do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very simple is, is elaborate I'll, for somebody like me. I'll have it all out. It, it, it will be simple. I mean, it'd be so simple you'll think, well, I can do that. And that's the point. It, it, you know, for, it is very simple. So, um, unless um, it completely turns and, and goes the other way and we wound up and it's 50 degrees in the morning, we'll, we will not be uh, cooking together tomorrow. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we live 55 miles apart. Um, it's about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour yeah. and 20 minute drive mm -hmm. each way. Uh, so if there's one thing, like mama was scared of bad weather and, and I'm, I have a very healthy respect for bad weather. And when I say bad weather, I'm not talking about ice storms, I'm talking about tornadoes. But, um, but I am scared.
scared to drive on any kind of winter precipitation. And um, if anybody else has got any sense, they would be too <laughs> in East Texas, because um, we got we got the good old boys that are get out and Grace and Roy did it. Yeah, I know. Get they, out and help people in ditches. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'll pass. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I won't drive out of my driveway if it's if it's yeah. bad weather. Now this one will. <laughs> She'll get out. She'll drive me whatever. But you better not get out. I won't do it tomorrow. I promise you. I won't do it tomorrow. Because I'm I'm driven on ice very few times and enough to know that I don't know how. When it come that big snow in Philadelphia, remember they yes. had the worst snowstorm they had had in years. And and Linda and I was up there working in Philadelphia, and we went separate ways on our assignments. Yeah. Well, Linda says she said I'm not getting out the snow. I'm not kidding. It was so deep. It was it bad. Was bad. And so she called, I said, well, I can do it. I don't mind doing it. She called our boss and asked if we could ride together. And he said we could. And I drove her all over Philadelphia, <laughs> jumping ice banks, snow that deep. I just pull her, go right in the parking lot, go right through it, and Linda would just be shivering. But, you know, you just, what it is, you have to be slow. You can't just, and if you start sliding, let off the gas. You know? Well, I'm not embarrassed, or I'm not too good to admit that I don't do that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, uh, so if nothing happened, the Lord willing, we'll be back uh, together yes, next yes, Tuesday yes, here cooking together. Yes. So I hope y'all have a wonderful uh, rest of the week and weekend. If you are in the snow, in the path of the storm, whether it's ice, snow, or whatever it is, or rain, uh, stay in, stay safe, and uh, stay well. And we love y'all, and we thank y'all so much. And be sure to, to count, count your blessings. blessings. We love y'all. Bye-bye.